stance. Some of you guys are getting just, okay, get to the low single. All right? That, hey, that first hour and change, we were super engaged and killing it. Now we're into new technique and you guys are kind of back to kind of float mode. I don't care about intensity. What I care about is engagement. How engaged are you in the drill right now? So I'm in a wrestling stance. I feel that guy starting to beat me here. That's what I gotta, that's what I gotta adjust for. This guy's beating me bad here. Over the top. Back into him. This is the most important thing once I high leg over. You've got to feel this. Is this too early? Is this too early? Is this too early? Is this too late? That's what you got to be asking yourselves when you're drilling. Okay, where's my window of opportunity that gives me the best result? And if you're not engaged and you're not thinking about it, and you're just, oh, well, my body's kind of supposed to go here and kind of supposed to go here, and yeah, I finished behind him. That's not, that's not going to work at the highest level. When you're wrestling in college, everybody's really stinking good, right? So again, like I just told them, it's usually the smallest margin of error and who makes the biggest mistake first that ends up getting the advantage, right? We watch some of the highest level wrestling. It might be 3-2, 3-1, and it's because those guys rarely make a doggone mistake. But it's the guy that gets out of position one time for a half a second too long that pays for it. So again, make sure you're in extension. You're feeling it. He's circling. He's circling. I'm over. Back into him. See, I'm back into him. I'm not here. This isn't good for me. He's just going to pick my leg up and finish. Right? And just start climbing the rope. i got to get back into him. Big spin. Driving. 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 There. That's what I want. Fix it. Go. Go.